Since day one, our purpose has been to help people become fully devoted to Jesus, to help both seekers and believers dig into the character and love of Christ, to be deeply rooted in Him. That was our mission almost 50 years ago, and it's still our mission today. May this be a place where we are spirit-filled, word-saturated, sold-out, cross-bearing disciples who make impact on the kingdom of God here and around the world. So we're just getting all the food ready to prep for this weekend for Thanksgiving. It's going to be so much fun to serve everybody. It's been so long. It's awesome to be back doing that. We're just prepping tech for this weekend. We're so pumped to commission our new building. Well, hey guys, we're just about to rehearse to get ready for our Thanksgiving service. I am so excited to celebrate what God is doing with our family. God bless. Happy Thanksgiving. It's amazing to see it all come together. We've been talking about this for so long and thinking about it and uh, to see it just materialize. It's, you know, see God's, uh, God's work come to fruition. It's, it's overwhelming. We've been talking about this for so long and to see it not be a construction site anymore, but actually be a beautiful building we could be in is really significant. This project's taken so long, we've been going for almost five years already. And so to see it done finally and be able to use the space for ministry, we're so excited to see what God's gonna do through it. It's been very clear from the beginning of this church that God had his hand on it. This was the biggest church built in Coquitlam at the end of the day. And uh, it was a big empty shell built by 100 people. And uh, it was an amazing accomplishment. The actual church services started on January 20th, 1975, down in Ranch Park School, just a few blocks away from here. Some of the people wondered why we were building such a large building. If we build smaller and we get the growth we hope to get, we'll have to build again in a few years. So we went for it. In terms of what first struck me when we came here was the huge potential of this building and what it could mean to our community in Coquitlam. It's a bedroom community at the time, lots of growth was happening. And to have a uh, church with the capacity and the potential and the leadership that was here, it was just an exciting place to be and we wanted to be part of that. In, in the five years, a little more than five years that I was here, the church uh, uh, about doubled in attendance. We were just a small number in a large building and we wondered whether we'd ever be able to fill it. But to God be the glory for what he has done far above anything we could ever have imagined. The elders um, and Mark decided it was time to build. Where can we build? What can we do? So they looked at all different options. The decision after all of that work was that really our best option was to build on our site, close to our building. In January 2016, Greg Needham and Rob and I went to Florida to attend a conference that was put on by Enjoy Ministries. They got all the algorithms and all the rest of the stuff for their computers and they put all the stats in and across the United States and Canada, they were saying a church our size with everything we do, we're probably gonna only have a million and a half to uh, two million, that's it. We knew we would need more than that, but we also knew they didn't know our church like we did. Now, the first thing we did was went to our elders and our staff. Then we went to key leaders, key giving leaders in our church. We said, what do you think? We think we need to be doing this. What do you think? Most all of those folks said, good for you. We're going to stand with you in this. After that, we presented to the congregation and uh, some of the things were a lot of fun. You may have remembered the dancing with the pastors and uh, we had a lot of town hall meetings and we did things, um, everything we could to answer the congregation's questions and put forward the vision. 
When people started pledging and it was over what we thought we were going to be getting, it was, it was really, really cool. We had the big reveal weekend, which I think most of you remember. We had the big balloon celebrating the, the number that we all raised. And as that number was revealed, uh, we were over $4.2 million. They may have the data, but I think we have the faith. I'm proud that God has called us to this and we have said yes, and we're making it happen with his help. I'm real proud of that. I don't know whose idea it was, but they said, let's have these little flags and write some people's name, maybe one or two people that you need to pray for. And then we took all these flags, put them all together and put them right into the foundation of our church. That's what we're here for. We were able to put a name that we were praying for, that this ministry that came out of this project would come to the Lord or that God would meet them. The building committee has become friends. We pray for each other's families and issues that have come up. Rod had a son that went through some surgeries. That's been part of our prayer life together. It's become much more than just a building project. You said once, it's not about building a building, it's about building people. Yeah, I get a lot of people quoting that to me, even people who don't go to our church. If we raise X number of dollars and build a great church and everything else, but don't build the people's faith with it, we've failed. We've failed. The COVID thing, it sucked the wind right out of our sails. It was, it was tough. Not being able to be, would be with people he loved. Oh. When COVID started, we were dealing with the unknown and a lot of people were afraid. Things like uh, a worldwide shortage of uh, hot water heaters. We thought there'd be tons of kitchen equipment around, but the supply chain slowed down, it stopped, and then to get it became this huge issue. And it was a prayer factor that if we were gonna have kitchen equipment on site in time for our inspections. One of the uh, message series that I want to do right away is gonna be on fear. Fear not, because Jesus is with us. As leaders, you need to lead by example. So if we're asking everyone in the church to double their tithe, which is what we did, we must also sacrifice. Diane and I believe that God was asking us a question. The question was, you have a house, don't you? We said, yes, you could sell it. Now it's personal. I love that house. So we sold it. Then we said again, Lord, what do you want to do? How do you want to do this? You have a company, don't you? And I said, yes, we do. You can sell it. And I said, yes, sir. I don't think we realized when the building started what God's vision was for this. You know, we had something in our own mind and I feel like he slowly unveiled our eyes. Not only will lives be transformed of people in our community as they come to know Jesus, as they meet him, but transformation also happens as we serve. I think that as we open up this space, we're gonna see that our entire church will be transformed as we allow God to use us and to minister in us and through us it will transform all of us. <laughs> Father, we are so thankful to you today, and we give you thanks with all of our heart. You have provided far beyond what we expected or what we even thought was possible. So now we come once more today with these requests that you, our God, will so fill this edifice with your Holy Spirit that every person coming through its doors will be aware of your holy presence. Amen. We give thanks today because of your generosity and we commit to being generous to our community and around the world through the ministry of this church. I've done six building programs in my life. This is the first one I've cut ribbons. I'm not sure what a ribbon is for, but we're going to do it.
coming into the main foyer that we're always used to being in, and then just seeing those other doors leading into that space, <laughs> yeah, it, it's, I'm still processing it. It's so fun, it's so fresh. I'm so excited for the new ministry center that we're gonna have, that we're able to provide food that's specific to people in our community and have the dignity for them to come and get it themselves. I'm excited to worship together for the first time in the new building. I'm excited for the large multi-purpose room that'll be used for classes and spiritual formation and alphas. I'm excited for our new food pantry, which is gonna allow us to meet the needs of people in our city and create a space of hospitality where people can encounter the love of Jesus. I'm really excited that the kids have an intentional space to learn about Jesus. There's so much about this space that I'm just so excited about. I think that our work hasn't even started yet. As we said from the beginning, we're not just building a building, we're building people. And so now the real work of building people and reaching our community is starting.